bitch, we're going driving. <laughs> Uh, you hot already? Did you just get nervous? Well, yeah, you make me really nervous, <laughs> especially. <laughs> Say, hi, I'm Kristen Stewart. Hi, I'm Kristen Stewart. No, I think you just say, hi, Nylon. Hey, Nylon, what up? Are we talking to Nylon, or are we talking no, like, just, sort of on behalf of? You just say of hello, her? like just like, hey, Nylon. Oh, damn, this truck got some hydraulics. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> like kind Why of... is it doing that? <laughs> These are really good ones. I, I used to get those in uh, middle school all the time, like at Parkman, I used to buy those. My favorite kind of road trip or like food when you stop at a gas station would probably be like Chex Mix traditional mm. and those. What about you? Stopping at a gas station, like am I hungry? Yeah, when like we're driving you're... and you like don't have anything else around and you need to find something to fuel up, I would get a Lunchable. Oh my gosh. Which kind of Lunchable? Um, I don't discriminate. I love Lunchables. <laughs> I love chips in other countries. Like, I love going. I love going to London and being like, I'll get the roast chicken chips. Or and then Canada has like ketchup chips. Oh. Seoul, Korea, you can get like spam masubi chips, and oh, like that's exciting. Lit. Or what about cappuccino chips? No, that's like that's, that's weird. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a pack of chips. <laughs> What's your te texting etiquette like? Um. I put so much emphasis on like uh, punctuation and the structure of how it's laid, how the how the words are laid on the page, because I think it affects how they come out. I'm carversating at the moment. And so, like, oh, that's cute. And so people are always like, "Nice spacing." I'm like, "That meant it's, everything." I know. Those spaces mean more than the words mean. Whoa. Look at all these food trucks. Thing. Oh my god. This is your kryptonite when you're cleansing right now. I know. What? I can't believe it. Fluffy cleansing? tacos. What am I doing? Cleansing. I just like to be bon me. <laughs> <laughs> On the count of three, we're both going to say a word. And they're both going to be random words. And then. We're on the next kind of three, we're gonna try and marry those words. So we end up saying the same word. You oh. do it until you do it, and then. And then you feel super you feel accomplished and connected. So connected. Okay, okay. One, two, three, car. Bimbo. Clown. Clown. Doll. That was close. Cl Sex Desk. toy. <laughs> <laughs> Des? Office. Amateur porn video in an office. Well, we have to say the same word. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, and I was those Chats little word. things. Oh, nice. You know when guys take their glasses off, but then they're hanging here. <laughs> <laughs> like the, I think I actually have one of those where they're like the, the necklace, the sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that had a name, that's what came to head to the head. Oh. Mine, my head. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson's dad. Neeson. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Say that five times in a row. <laughs> Leonisa, 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 Leonisa. 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 What advice could you give me? Um, okay, some advice. Um, I think I gave a lot of advice in my nylon cover story. So you this, did? Yeah, so this, I'm going to take the back seat. Yeah, take the back seat on this yeah. one. I wanted to talk to you about American Ultra. You okay. reminded me of it. It is really funny, and I love it, and I LOL'd so many times. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you were funny because I think you were funny. The story is crazy. It it's is. so insane. And we like we took it so seriously. And I think that that in itself is just stupid and funny. And yeah. like um I love a good old stoner comedy. And this one has like heart. I like, you really believe it. Have you accomplished uh what you wanted to this year or a few things? Yeah. Which were? Um well I started I know I've always like really liked playing guitar and stuff, but I've really started playing uh, music a lot, and that's always been intimidating for me because if you're good at one thing and everyone's like, okay, and from a young age it's like, well, that's what you're good at. It's hard to step outside of that and be like, explore other things because you're like, no, that's what I do. I'll just, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So uh, that's cool. 